everybody, this is Mrs. Lanou, and this is the beginning of chapter one. Introduction, do you know about your human body? And this is basically an orientation to anatomy and physiology. There's going to be three learning objectives with this chapter. Number one that you see here on the screen, explain the significance of something known as homeostasis. Number two, describe the anatomical position. And number three, use correct anatomical terms to describe your body's directions, regions, planes, and sections. If you want to get off to a really good start, there's a recommendation here at the bottom of the screen that asks you to go ahead and read all of chapter one and review and learn your directional terms, page 13, and your regional terms, page 14, that describe your human body. If you do that, that'll get you off to a very good start. All right, let's go ahead and look at the slide two, which is the next slide up. You have a problem that I'd like you to think about. Use your best imagination. Your challenge is to think about being asked to stand outside in just your shorts and a t-shirt for about four hours on a 32 degree day, so pretty cold. We're gonna ask you now to come in and take your body temperature. The first thing I'd like you to think about is question A. What is your normal body temperature if we put a thermometer in your mouth? Do you have an answer? Okay, about what, 98.6? I hope you said that, or somewhere near that. Let's look at question B. What do you think your temp would be after standing outside in the cold weather for the four hours for so long, and why? Okay, do you think it would be lower than 98.6? Do you think it would be 98.6 or higher than 98.6? And why do you think that? Okay, well hopefully you said that it's going to remain around 98.6. And the reason is because of the next slide. The word here, homeostasis, that we're focusing on is a concept that refers to your body's ability to keep its internal environment stable despite outside conditions. So let's say it is 32 outside, that's very cold. What does your body start doing to try to help keep it warm? Shiver maybe, okay? So by shivering it creates friction which will warm up the body. There are actually hundreds of body systems and they all fight to maintain constant values. For example, body temperature likes to stay around 98.6. It doesn't want to be down around 92. It doesn't want to be up around 104, which is really critical if you're an infant and you have a temperature of 104, you need to be at ER. Your heart rate, it wants to stay between 60 and 80 beats per minute, for example. Breathing needs to stay stable. The body will always do everything it can to keep all of these things here on the screen that you're seeing and more right in the middle, in homeostasis, for balance of the body, for things to work best. When we look at our bodies and we look at the fields that you're going into, medical science, our bodies are very complex and you and I and all the medical communities, doctors, nurses, etc., need a way to organize and understand our bodies. What do you know about your body? This concludes slide one through four, chapter one. Please click the next link to advance to um, the next slides. Thank you.